Okay, so who is going to buy your cake? Right, I could go deep into ideal client avatars and branding and stuff like that, but I think in the beginning, um, it's a bit deep and it's a bit heavy. Um, so I just want you to focus on where you're going to find people to buy what you want to sell. Um, find them, get them aware of what you're selling and get them buying. Right, so a lot of this will depend on your products. Obviously, if you want to supply cafes, and things like that you visit those cafes with samples and price lists and you have a, a chat with the owners and you win them round with your charm right that's easy enough if you want to do farmers markets visit those farmers markets um see who's buying from there what's selling successfully what the vibe is is it young trendy students who want the New York cookies and things or is it older people who've got plenty of money who want to take stuff banana bread home for you know for the week so think about that um mostly we're going to be selling online aren't we um through a social media platform so once you've put word out on your personal profile you have to be aware that selling through your personal profile is quite frowned upon by Facebook and it only takes somebody to report you <laughs> like another cake maker someone who don't like you that's going to happen. If someone reports you for selling on your profile, you could get your profile shut down. So set up yourself a Facebook business page. Um, the way to do it, right, picture the sort of person that's going to buy your cakes and what else do they like, especially locally. Um, follow those pages as your business profile. You can follow as your page um, and join in conversations on there in local groups and things like that. Um, See, I've got loads of followers on Instagram as the home cakery coach by just commenting on uh, some of the big cake suppliers, commenting on their photos. And obviously my business name on there of the home cakery coach, it's quite self-explanatory. So I've had followers just by just by commenting, just by liking people's comments on there. Um, so that works really well. Um, think about where they live, where your clients live, local to you. Um, join your local community groups on Facebook, join the local selling pages. I wouldn't necessarily recommend Facebook market page as a credible outlet for cakes. Um, but if you're in the local groups, people can tag you. If anyone asks for a cake maker, um, it's better if you're in the group because then you'll see the tag and you'll be able to join in the conversation. Um, if you're especially chefy with your bakes, Join local foodie groups and things like that. Um, follow local food reviewers. Like we have quite a few around here. Um, follow local restaurants or kids' play areas, and simply just comment as your business name um, to get seen among the followers. If you're aiming for for the mums who like to splash out on birthday cakes, join local mums groups. Follow pages of people who do balloons and other party supplies, things like that. Um, don't be going in there posting, I sell cakes, I sell cakes, right? That's not the way to do it. You need to build yourself up as kind of um, a valued member of that group or member of the local community. Um, you know, just joining all conversations wherever you feel that you can. Um, obviously not in any kind of spammy way, just build yourself up as a positive member of, of this, this local group. And it helps if people are seeing your name and you're being helpful and you're being a decent person um it builds up what we call the know like and trust factor people get to know you they start to like you and they begin to trust you or once all those things are in place they're going to buy off you which is great <laughs> so think about um who your ideal clients are who's going to be buying from you how do they like to communicate um, would they prefer WhatsApp? Are you happy taking phone calls, getting interrupted? I know I'm not, <laughs> but some people prefer to deal with a phone. So it's whatever works best for you. Um, if they're office workers, they'll probably prefer to place orders by email because that's what they're used to dealing with. Um, can you put word out at the school gates? I used to, when my lad were in school, I used to take boxes of cupcakes up for people and I'd make sure, I'd just nudge people and say, have you seen these, you know? And I'd just make sure everyone saw and want, oh, obviously, you know, they'll point to each other, point each other to the cupcakes. 
I've still got customers who buy from me now who are, are nabbed that way. <laughs> it's a really good way. Only do it if you've got kids in school. Otherwise, hanging around school gates is weird and frowned upon. Right, don't do that. But um, a lot of people will just want to order informally. So Facebook messaging is perfect for that. Try and get them to do it through your business page rather than your personal profile just because it's easier and it looks more professional. But it's still quite informal Facebook messaging. So have a think about it. Write some stuff down. And basically, just get everybody to spread the word. Um, what I tend to do, if it's friends who are placing orders, I'll be like, right, it should be this amount, but I'll do it for this much because I know you're going to post photos and I know you're going to praise me for it. And that'll, you know, spreading the word, word of mouth is absolutely the best advertising. So there we go. That's how to find your customers, hopefully. <laughs>